I got into this business by default. I was a musician for, I don't know, about 20 years and finally decided I wanted to pay a few more bills than just get by. So I took a gig as a tour manager, front of house engineer, said yes to everything, figured it out along the way. Here I am standing today mixing Enrique. My dad and everybody on my dad's side of the family were musicians, producers, arrangers. So I've always been involved in anything that has to do with audio and production at a very young age. And my first encounter with DPA after using so many different brands of mics and going to different testing and, and tryouts and all different gigs, just came to the realization after trying it, it was, it was just a, a non-issue. Everything was just clear, pristine. It was just, uh, the quality was just bar none, like the best that we, we tried before. DPA microphones put a great big grin on our faces the moment yes, we put them on an instrument. Pretty much everything that was my favorite before, which I still like. DPA just came in and changed my whole thought process and changed my way of thinking when it comes to a microphone on an instrument. Because you put the DPA on the instrument and it sounds like the instrument. <laughs> We're using a 2011C on both snare drums and overheads. 4099 on congas. congas. It's not congas, it's congas. Okay, congas. <laughs> All right, you take, it for, you take, the, la take the Latin we'll side of the, the stage. Side of yeah. 49.9s on congas and uh, bongos and cajon. So anything that's percussion, we're using 49.9s. And here comes and there's uh, Jamar. Per our percussion is Jamar, aka Fra Fruits. Handsome. <laughs> he just walks by. Yeah, but he just walks he's by. A... <laughs> we're using the de facto capsules on our two background singers who are standing between percussion and a drum kit wanted to sweeten up their sound, it was hard because we would get the bleed from the cymbals or the drum kit or whatever, and that's been fixed as soon as we switched to the de facto. I think the way DP has helped me as a mixer is, is that it, it's enabled me to focus more on mixing musically and making sure my artist is happy and band members are happy. With DPA mics, I'm able to capture the source the way it is, the way my ear will capture it, which is what we're looking for as engineers. You know? We can manipulate it in any way we want after, but it's captured just like the source. Gives us a blank canvas to start working. Absolutely. With.